The operation and use of T50 and T25 remote controller will be introduced in this section. This is the power button of the remote controller. Short press this button when it is turned off to check the built-in battery level of the remote controller. Short press and long press to turn the remote controller on. When the remote controller is turned on, short press the power button to turn off the screen to save power. Short press and long press it to turn off the remote controller. This is link indicator light which turns green when the remote controller and the drone are successfully linked. It is red when the remote controller is not linked to the drone. This is the power indicator of the remote controller. Before taking off, check the power of the remote controller to ensure that it is sufficient before performing the operation. These are screen edge buttons with the function the same as the icons in the corresponding position of the remote controller screen. The buttons on the left are customization buttons. By default, L1 is add point, L2 is spotlight switch, L3 is tilt down recenter gimbal. The functions of the button on the right side is the same as the corresponding icon function on the remote control screen. You can click the screen icons to select the function or click the physical buttons at the corresponding location. This is a 5D custom button. The operation method is to press the middle button down or toggle the buttons in the four directions. In the remote controller settings, you can set these five buttons of the up, down, left, right and center to different shortcut functions. For example, set the up as spotlight switch. This is RTH button. Press and hold for two seconds to activate the function and the drone will return to the home point. When returning to home, short press the button to cancel the return and the drone will hover in place. This is back button. Short press to return to the previous page. This is the spray, spread button. Short press to turn on or off the spraying or spreading manually. Long press for two seconds to purge the air from the hose. This is the flow adjustment dial, which can adjust the spraying flow in real time during manual operation. Flight mode switch button. Toggle this button for an emergency stop during operation or returning to home point. This is micro SD card slot in which you can insert a micro SD card and import data to the remote controller. This is USB A interface which can be used to connect the remote controller with other devices, such as charger and charging station, to activate the device or check the status. This is an HDMI interface which can be connected to a TV or projector to project the remote controller screen on the display device. This is USB-C interface which can be used to charge the remote controller and also connect it to a computer for exporting files, or use assistant software to update the firmware and export the logs. This is FPV map switch button. Short press to switch between the FPV screen and the map, and this can be realized by directly tap the bottom left corner of the screen. This is camera adjustment dial by which you can adjust the tilt angle of the camera. This is the C1 and C2 buttons. In AB point operation mode, they are used to add point A and point B respectively. In manual operation mode, they are used for left lateral movement and right lateral movement. C3 is a customizable button, for example, it can be set to clear the flight path. This is external battery and dongle hatch key. Press it to the bottom and then pull up the cover to open the hatch. This is remote controller battery fixing switch. Short press to remove the external battery. When installing the external battery, press the battery to the bottom and push it up slightly. The following describes the installation method of the dongle. Firstly, remove the two screws of the hatch, insert the SIM card into the dongle, connect the dongle antennas to the 4G port, insert the dongle into the remote controller, finally cover the hatch and tighten the screw. Here are a few shortcut operations between the back button and other buttons. Back button and spray spread button for quick screen recording. Back button and FPV map switch button for quick screenshots. Back button and flow rate adjustment dial on the left to adjust screen brightness. Back button and FPV angle adjustment dial on the right to adjust the volume of the remote controller.
Of course, these operations can also be done through the drop-down list. The above is all the content of the remote controller. Thank you for watching.